Assalamu alaikum guys, hope so you all are well. So today we are going to have the lecture of first unit of social studies, fourth edition. We are going to do unit number one that is geography. Okay, so as I have already mentioned that we are going to do geography today. So what is geography? Geography is the study of earth. So in this chapter, we are going to study about earth. First, we are going to read it and then we are going to understand it. The first one, the earth in space. The earth is like a huge ball. We call this shape a sphere. It is not quite round, but is flattened at top and bottom at the north and south poles. So, earth is like a huge ball. We call this shape a sphere. Sphere is a solid figure having its uh, both top and bottom flattened. It's not quite round, but it's flattened at the top and the bottom, at the north and south poles. The north and south poles of earth are flattened. That is why it is known as sphere. Hundreds of years ago, people had various ideas about the earth. Many years ago, people were having different ideas about the earth earth various means different some people thought it was flat most believed that the earth was at the center of the universe a few of them thought that the earth is flat but mostly most of them believed that the earth was at the center of the universe it was present in the center of the universe they thought the sun and the planets moved around the earth first they thought that the sun and other planets in the solar system are moving around the earth. Today we know quite a lot about the earth, the other planets, the sun, the star and the space. Today mankind know much more about the earth, the solar system, the galaxies, the space, the stars, the moon, everything. Astronauts have been into space in spaceships. Spaceships are, uh, are some specific type of machines that go into the space that move around the planets or earth moon sun etc and astronauts are the person that go into space and tell us about the happenings in the space man has even landed on the moon many astronauts have even landed on the moon they have even stayed at the moon machines called space probes have been sent out into space to find out more about the universe. Space probes are some specific type of machines that is sent in the universe to transfer different types of messages and then movement of the space. Satellites orbit, go around the earth, they receive and send radio and television signals and gather and send information such as high quality images of space back to the earth. When we type space on google we see many images over there of the space earth different planets galaxies star moon everything this is just because of space probes space probes take the clear and high quality images of the solar system over here some satellite images have been used to improve maps those images which space probes take help to make maps here are some example of those pictures. Next is when we talk about the earth and its movements we use some special words. Here are some that you should know. For the specificity of this space we are going to use some specific type of words. The first one is orbit. The path of the earth around the sun. Other planets and satellites also have orbit. To understand I will say orbit is an imaginary path. It does not exist in the solar system. We just imagine that there is a path on which earth is moving around the sun or moon is moving around the earth. It does not exist actually in the solar system but we are imagining it. We are imagining it. Next is exist. This is an imaginary line running from the North Pole to the South Pole through the center of the Earth. The center is tilted at 23.5 degree on its axis. In this case, we actually don't have that line or that pole that is moving through the center of the Earth, but we are imagining it. We are imagining it. The Earth is tilted at 23.5 degrees on its axis. 
Next is equator, an imaginary line that runs all the way around the middle of the earth. You can see the word imaginary. Imaginary means that does not actually exist. We only have in our minds an imaginary line that runs all the way around the middle of the earth. Similarly, that imaginary line that separates the earth into two parts, that is north and south pole. Next is hemisphere. Hemi means half. The equator divides the earth into northern and southern hemisphere. When the equator divides the earth into two parts, north and south, the hemisphere, one part is known as hemisphere. Hemi means half. Hemi means half. After the separation of north and south pole, it is known as hemisphere. Northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere separately. After that, cardinal directions. The four main points of the compass, north, south, east and west, are called cardinal directions. North, south, east and west. These four main points of the compass are known as cardinal directions. Intermediate direction, the direction in between cardinal directions, the directions in between cardinal directions. Between north and east, this is known as northeast, intermediate direction. Between south and east, this is known as southeast. Between north and west, this is known as northwest. So they are known as intermediate directions. After that rotation, the earth spins or rotates from west to east on its axis. It takes 24 hours or one day to rotate once. The movement of earth from the west to the east on its axis, it takes 24 hours that is one day one day have 24 hours so it takes one day to rotate from east to west okay and it rotates one city and it rotates one city over here these all specific terms are defined this is north pole this is south pole this is the equator this is the equator that is separating the earth it does not exist actually, it does not exist actually, but it's an imaginary line that is separating south and north. This is south hemisphere and this is north hemisphere. This is the axis. Axis, what was axis? The imaginary line running from the north pole to the south pole through the center of the earth. Okay. After that, revolution. At the same time, the earth is moving around the sun. The movement is called its revolution. The earth takes a year to revolve around the sun. So, revolution is the movement of earth around the sun. Rotation is when the earth is rotating present on its axis. Revolution is when the earth is moving around the sun on the orbit. When the earth will move around the sun it will known as revolution but when the earth will rotate on its own axis it's known as rotation over here when it's moving in on its specific place it's known as rotation but when it's taking a complete path this is the sun and when it's completing a complete path around the sun this is known as revolution Okay, so we have done page number two and page number three reading and inshallah tomorrow we will go to the next page and we will cover this chapter as soon as possible. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video then thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you tomorrow with a new interesting video. Allah Hafiz.